Okay, good morning. I am R. Satya Narayana for those who do not know me. How many of you attend my lectures earlier? Not many it seems. It may be slightly boring for those who have already undergone through this. Anyhow, the first procedure, how many of you can see? What is the first procedure? How to draw any structure? Any structure. <coughs> Roughly we have some thousand compounds and we should know how to draw their structures all. Hydrogen, <coughs> fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, O minus oxygen with one negative charge. They all form one bond wherever they are as guest atoms. Like in PCL5, PH3, NH3, Vagaira. Oxygen can form two bonds. Oxygen as a guest atom. And any plus in a group, plus, like in NH4 plus, we have an H plus. Any plus in a group, accepts a pair of electrons, accepts a lone pair of electrons. Any other minus, other than O minus, about which we have already mentioned, donates a pair of electrons. <coughs> Where do you find a minus? Quote an example. CH3 minus <coughs> BF4 minus BF4 2 minus etc. Please make a note. Let's give some examples. SO3 How do you draw the structure? One sulfur, the central atom, three oxygens. What is the role of oxygen? As we mentioned, forms two bonds. Two bonds. Never say double bond. SO4 2 minus. Once again, what is the central atom? Sulfur. One sulfur, four oxygens, and two of them are minus. <coughs> two minus. Oxygen forms two bonds. O minus? One bond. Needs one more electron. NH4 plus, NH4 plus, one nitrogen, four hydrogens, and 
one of them is a plus what is the role of plus in a group <coughs> accepts a pair of electron why is h plus accepting that is none of our business right now and why is nitrogen donating that again we should not ask at this moment why is nitrogen donating also to get rid of lone pair to get rid of that lone pair b of 4 minus b of 4 minus 1 boron 4 fluorines one of them is a minus fluorine forms just one bond f minus donates don't ask me why is F minus donating and why is boron accepting. Why is boron accepting any case? Sorry? Huh? Incomplete octet. It is electron deficient, less than 8 electron. Now, second observation. None of what I teach are rules. They are all observations. Overall, looking at overall picture, I drew some observations. More than one central atom? Distribute equally. When you have more than one central atom, distribute all the atoms equally. Like in Cr2O7, 2 minus. How many central atoms are there? Two chromiums. Two chromiums, seven oxygens. What to do with them? One, two, three, four, five, six. The seventh one? between them, bridging them. 2 minus, even the minus is distributed equally. Oxygen forms 2 bonds, O minus just 1 bond, and this oxygen bridges both the chromiums. C for nitrogen only, this is for nitrogen atom only, more than three bonds, what to do? One dative bond, what is the dative bond? Coordinate covalent bond, because nitrogen cannot form four covalent bonds. How come it has just got three unpaired electrons? Like you have 2s2, 2px1, 2py1, 2pz1. So nitrogen can form only three covalent bonds by sharing. The fourth one must always be a coordinate covalent bond. Nitrogen can only donate beyond this. NO3 minus 1 nitrogen, 3 oxygens, one of them is a minus. Oxygen forms 2 bonds, O minus 1 bond, and the quota of 3 bonds of nitrogen is over. Now, it only has a pair of electrons to be donated. There was a boy repeating, sitting there last year, what rank he got? Hmm? Chandra Shekhar maybe. Mayang did very well. I didn't even expect that much. Did good.
He sent me a query which I haven't answered even today. <laughs> because I know he never need that. D. Try to avoid. Try to avoid loan pairs as far as possible. Who will try? Who should try? Atoms try. Atoms themselves try to avoid loan pairs. And I am telling you, this is the most important instruction as far as our uh, uh, 11th, 12th chemistry is concerned. Most of the things happen just to get rid of the loan pair only. Most of the things. Both in organic and inorganic. <coughs> the last one. For oxy acids, oxo, oxy or oxo, oxo acids, what is an oxo acid? My definition. Huh? Sorry? Which begins with H and ends with O. H2SO4, H3PO4. But what is the definition of NCRT? Which has a double bond O. X double bond O. This is oxo group. The central atom should be formed double bond. So strictly speaking, according to NCRT, H4SiO4, the silicic acid is not an oxy acid. It has four OH groups. It doesn't have oxo group, double bond O. For oxo acids, number of OH groups is equal to, number of OH is equal to, Number of hydrogens present. Jitna hecho utna. How many of you are surprised at this? Why? Huh? You heard this for the first time. Except just two acids except H3PO3 in which you have two OH only and H3PO2 has just one, that's all. Okay, if you ignore these two, just ignore them, we have roughly 70 oxy acids. Oxy acids of sulfur, selenium, tellurium. Uh, nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic, antimony, chlorine, bromine, iodine. The periodic acid, what is that? Per iodic acid. Periodic acid, per iodic acid. So you have so many oxy acids. Jitna hai utna. And of course that is their basicity. And that is their N factor. Which will decide the equivalent weight. Jitna hai utna. H3PO4. How will you draw the structure? Phosphorus is the central atom. 3O. How do you know? <coughs> How do you know? Jitna H Chotna. And we are left with just one more oxygen. Double bond O. H2SO4. Please draw. One sulfur, two OH, just two OH, and Double bond O, double bond O. H3PO4, I'm sorry, H4P2O7. What's the name? Oh, oh, sorry. 
नेम नॉट अवे पायरो फॉस्फोरिक एसिड बॉडी में भी पायरो एसिड प्लस एसिड माइनस एच टू टू फॉस्फोरस हाउ मेनी वॉच फोर वॉच डिस्ट्रीब्यूट इक्वली वन टू थ्री फोर लेफ्ट विथ थ्री मोर ऑक्सीजन वन टू थ्री How many PP bonds are there in pyrophosphoric acid? None, none. Pyrophosphoric acid. Pyre means pyre means fire, fire, heat. When you heat phosphoric acid, you get this. How about <coughs> H3PO3? How would you you write to uh, the the structure how would you like to draw the structure just one phosphorus and three oh but this is not this is not the correct structure why don't tell me because it's an exception exception to what to the uh, yes 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 to avoid a lone pair you have a lone pair here atoms try to avoid that lone pair P double bond O OH OH and one hydrogen directly bonded to phosphorus. Okay, PH3 phosphorus cannot avoid the lone pair. It has three electrons. I'm sorry, it has five electrons and three hydrogens can consume at best only three electrons. Therefore, the lone pair is inevitable here. But now that there are three hydrogens and three oxygens. Phosphorus will always try to get rid of that lone pair. This is my third consecutive Diwali here. <laughs> <laughs> There is a strong bond between me and Diwali in Pune. <laughs> PH three. Uh, H two S two O five. Draw the way you like. Two sulfurs, two OH groups, three more oxygens. This is how you would have liked to draw. But once again, this is not correct. What happens? Yeah, you have two lone pairs. How to avoid them? Make oxygens form a double bond. All the oxygens. So one of the oxygens readjusts double bond O, OH, double bond O, OH. Why? Why has this taken place? At least, at least one sulfur. Got rid of lone pair, so lone pairs are avoided even at the cost of what is it you have lost here? Symmetry. Good. Even at the cost of symmetry. So I know many of you would like to bring the other oxygen also here. Why wouldn't that happen? Why wouldn't that happen? This oxygen also coming here and forming a double bond again because sulfur has one, two, three, four, five, six. 
just two unpaired electrons. It will offer the unpaired electrons only to hydrogen. Like H2S. H2S. Ever heard of SH4? Why hydrogen doesn't have the ability to break the pairs of sulfur? Electron pairs have to be have to be excited. 3s2, 3px2, 3py1, 3pz1. Okay, SCl4 can be understood, but not SH4. Hydrogen cannot. Excite the pairs of electrons, and I already told you, no, last year, for any happening or non-happening, ये होता है नहीं होता है क्यों? For anything happening and non-happening, the cost price should be less than selling price. This is the only golden rule in chemistry. Not just in chemistry, in life. For anything, why does it take place? Why have I come all the way to Pune? Because it works, it pays for me. If I had got a better opportunity, I would have gone there. <laughs> cost, cost price less than selling price. Okay, now. So, xenon has four pairs of electrons. And the pairs have to be excited. 5s2, 5px2, 5py2, 5pz2. Who can do this among all others? Only fluorine. Only fluorine is electronegative enough to approach xenon's nucleus and break its pairs open. Break the ice. So, only fluorine forms bonds with xenon. What about xenon oxides? Sorry? They are not formed on direct combination. Xenon plus oxygen, what will you get? Nothing. They are prepared by the hydrolysis of xenon fluorides. Hydrolysis of xenon fluorides. Now, so, whenever a pair has to be broken, Energy is required and whenever a bond is formed, why? Who is that stable? Everything takes place because of stability only. Listen, you have a hydrogen atom and its nucleus. Here is an electron. Who is attracting hydrogen atom? Just one nucleus is attracting. When it is approached by another hydrogen atom, it is attracted by this electron, I'm sorry, this nucleus also. In a hydrogen molecule, you will find two atoms. Hydrogen molecule. So now, the, these two electrons are attracted by both the nuclei and the electrons come closer. Electrons come closer and the, when electron goes Closer to the nucleus, its energy decreases and that much amount of energy is released. Okay? So, whenever a bond is formed, energy is released. Therefore, <coughs> the energy released when sulfur-hydrogen bond is formed, let's say it is 50, but the energy required to break open the pair is 100. So, it is a loss. So, that will never take place. Why doesn't phosphorus form PH5? Same logic. J.D. Lee has given a peculiar logic. What does he say? When chlorine comes, the pair of electrons, 3s2, 3px2, sorry, 3px1, 3px1, 3py1, 3pz1, when phosphorus, chlorine approaches the pair goes to the d orbitals. But if hydrogens approach, J.D. Lee says, the d orbitals shrink, they will go back. As if they are afraid of uh, hydrogen, the d orbitals will go back. That's not the reason. Never reason. 
What is the correct reason? The energy required to break open the pair is less than the pH bond energy into two. Two pH bonds are formed. So, please remember this for anything that is happening, cost price should be, energy involved should be less than the energy released. That's all. Now, similarly, sulfur will not offer the sixth bond to hydrogen. Just first two are offered. Suppose I just have two chairs in my home. Two chairs, vacant chairs. Two students come. What I will offer them. Come on, bad job, bad job. But if two more come, I will not take the trouble of breaking the, the stack of chairs. Store me jo pada hai andar andar se jaake idhar laake alag karke poch karke nahi dunga. Hai na? I will offer only which are ready made. Okay, the first procedure is over. Earlier I used to take nearly two, three hours for this. And to if I draw the structure using all the rules. Sorry, sorry, not N2O5, N2O3. 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 Two nitrogens, three oxygens, two bonds. This is how you would like to draw the structure, symmetric. But how it is actually anti-symmetric? It has an anti-symmetrical structure. Even NCRT mentioned that. Anti-symmetric, but this cannot be a double bond, a day two bond. Why? For nitrogen, for nitrogen more than three bonds, that must be a dative one. <coughs> XeO64 minus <coughs> per xenate ion, per xenate, like per chlorate comes from H4XeO6 per xenic acid. <coughs> Xenon, six oxygens, four of them are minus, which form just one bond, oxygen forms two bonds. Now, second procedure, we roughly have 30 procedures which take uh, some half an hour time. One of the longest lecture is the reason for color. It will almost take 3-4 hours, which covers the broad spectrum of all topics. Color, reason for color of all substances, that is the only lengthiest topic. All others roughly take uh, half an hour or so. And uh, um, the remaining 90 procedures, they take one minute each. Now, 
all about oxidation states all about oxidation states what is the difference between oxidation state and oxidation number state is per one atom the number is the whole a whole group of atoms oxidation state of one atom now what is the oxidation state of phosphorus the routine question of mine what is the oxidation state of phosphorus sorry zero how come sorry no charge so it depends oxidation state of phosphorus depends it depends on what which compound you are talking about in pcl3 it is plus 3 in pcl5 it's plus 5 and in ph3 ah minus 3 and in p4 zero, zero. elementary state is zero <coughs> now what is the oxidation state of potassium in its compounds doesn't it depend on which compound no so how much uh, is it in ko2 plus 1 plus 1 even in ko2 ko10 does it exist does it exist nanna for business <laughs> somebody uh, are hey, sir it's not our business to discuss existences that's the business of god somebody asks what is the oxidation of potassium in ko10 you only need to take say plus 1 fixed okay right so some of the elements have fixed oxidation state fixed oxidation state very few substances very few elements have what are the elements of 1a who are they lithium sodium etc they are always plus 1 gam mare plus 1 to plus 1 ee vas 2 2a who are they beryllium magnesium etc plus 2 and just fluorine from the seventh group not everyone minus 1 that's all and of course a few others few others are there don't make the list too long and a few others don't make the list too long like you have aluminum plus 3 zinc plus 2 etc how many of you have written aluminum and zinc don't make the list forgot my instruction this is a test of sorts okay don't be greedy jitna mil gaya utna theek hai ye bhi chahiye wo bhi chahiye list lamba mat karo theek hai na you know this is a test number of lone pairs in boron trifluoride is all of you write the answer just write that number number of lone pairs in boron trifluoride is last year also gave the test yes hmm six where do you get them from nine how many of you said nine 
What about others? Zero. My question is wrong rather. My question itself is wrong. Number of loan payers in on boron, in boron triple, that's what I should have asked. Zero. But instead, I just asked number of loan payers carelessly, a little carelessly. So, but what are the loan payers one has to look at? Loan payers are the? They only matter. Only they matter. Of course, in the case of boron trifluoride, even these loan pairs also unfortunately matter. How? Fluorine donates a pair to this beggar. Electron deficient beggar, boron don um, fluorine donates. So, you should never look at the loan pairs on the terminal items. Anyhow. So, zero is the answer. Yeah, one has to look at the loan pairs on central atom only because they only bring changes to the properties, nature, structure, geometry, many other things. Now, fixed oxidation rate you have already heard. Electronegativity of fluorine greater than Second most electron, oxygen greater than nitrogen, greater than chlorine, greater than, greater than, hydrogen greater than boron. What comes here? Other non-metals. Here, other half metals and half metals and metals. Half metals and metals. How do you know which is a non-metal? Sorry? High electronegativity. You will measure electronegativity of what? Sound sending in N, helium, sulfur, phosphorus. That is it. Name sending in the sound N. Like you have helium, neon, neon. Argon, Krypton, Xenon, Radon, Chlorine, Chlorine, Bromine. <laughs> the emphasis is on the sound N. Add in Oxygen, Sulfur, Nitrogen, Phosphorus, Carbon, Silicon, Boron, Hydrogen. K. Khatam. These are the non -metals. And very few are half metals, metal oids. Half metals, germanium, arsenic, antimony, selenium, tellurium, that's all. Don't ask me about uh, polonium, bismuth, astatin, I don't. You don't need to know. All others are metals. So, electronegativity, now, three, instruction three, when you win a match, your score is minus one. When you lose, it's plus one. When you tie, it's a draw. I mean, zero. When will you win a match? Except a pair of electrons. When will you win a match? When you play with a poor team, weaker opposition. So, Sometimes even oxygen also loses. What is oxygen doing here? What is oxygen doing here? Playing two matches and losing both of them. Two. Most electronegative fluorine. And fluorine is minus one. It has won this. What do you mean by match here? Match is nothing but 
बॉन्ड ऑक्सीजन इज प्लस टू इवन ऑक्सीजन ऑल्सो बिकम्स प्लस अकेशनली इन ऑल अदर केसेस ऑक्सीजन इज ऑफ कोर्स नेगेटिव वॉट अबाउट ओ डबल बॉन्ड ओ वॉट इज ऑक्सीजन डूइंग हेयर प्लेइंग टू मैचेस विथ इक्वल अपोजिशन equally strong opponent zero oxidation state now d what exactly is oxidation state it is the charge charge real or even imaginary real or imaginary acquired by an atom in a group calculated by attributing all the electrons to the more electronegative that's a why do you say imaginary such an ion need not exist that need not exist for example nacl when in water you will actually get na plus ions you can see them you can isolate them but what about k mno4 in which manganese is plus 7 do you do you find mn7 plus ions in water no mn7 plus ions do not actually exist this is imaginary chart so charge real or imaginary acquired by an atom in a group why do you say group i didn't say molecule sometimes it can even be an ion so 4 2 minus now charge real or imaginary acquired by an atom in a group calculated by attributing all the electrons in a bond to the more electronegative atom now in a uh, if oxygen gets 2 minus a i mean o2 minus it is called oxide if oxygen gets 2 minus i said i didn't say if oxygen is given 2 minus sir maine minus to the x side hai tumhare dene se kuch nahi hota usko milna chahiye apni dam par b if oxygen gets o2 2 minus <coughs> or for that matter o minus or oxygen oxygen single bond the emphasis is on that single bond single bond it's called a peroxide peroxide o minus is called a peroxide and o2 minus each oxygen getting minus half it's called a superoxide maximum oxidation state is equal to group number which group 
the old Roman 1A, 2A, 3A, that group number, except for the only exception being copper. Copper, because that belongs to that belongs to 1B, but its maximum oxidation is plus 2. Minimum oxidation state is equal to group number minus 8. Sulfur, which group does that belong? Which group? 6A. So maximum plus 6 and minimum minus 2. You should learn the group numbers. Most of my chemistry depends only on the group number. You have been attending for the last 3 years, no? You attended when you were in 11th also. Like Mayank. No. Have you learned group numbers? Elements of groups? Sixth group ka elements bata. Oxygen, sulfur, selenium, tellurium, polonium. Seventh group, chlorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. Very, 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 very important. Imperative. Can never avoid that. Chlorine belongs to the seventh group with a maximum of plus seven and minimum minus one. And this rule is only for 4A to 7A. What about others? We have 18 groups almost. And I am talking about just four groups. Sorry? What about other groups? What is, the, what is their minimum oxidation state? Sorry? Why? Yes, good. All others are metals whose minimum oxidation state is equal to zero. Metals will never take negative oxidation state. Don't show me the occasional uh, VCO6 minus. Hexagonal one eight one. Don't tell me this. That is formed in a discharge tube, not in normal environment. And don't talk about any minus. How many of you know about this? N A. Sodium exhibiting minus one oxidation state. How many of you know about alkanide ions? Luckily none of you. Good. <laughs> now, So, in the absence of last instruction, in the absence of fixed oxidation states, who are the fixed ones? 1A, 2A and just fluorine. 1A, 2A and fluorine. In the absence of fixed oxidation states, give minus 2 to oxygen. Oxygen ko minus 2 de do. If the other atom gets, if the other <coughs> atoms get, any of the other atoms get, impossible oxidation state. What is it impossible? Higher than the? Higher than the maximum. Then, it is a peroxide. Then make oxygen minus 1. The other atoms get impossible oxidation state. Then it is a peroxide. Make oxygen minus 1.
What is the name of KO2? Potassium. Why is oxygen minus half here? Don't tell me because it is a superoxide. Is ki chahre pe thorne likha hai ki superoxide hai. Potassium has fixed oxygen state which is plus one. Two oxygen get minus one. Each one minus of. Therefore it is a superoxide. Potassium superoxide. Not many superoxides are there. Hardly three. Three. Or, uh, yeah. Three. Potassium, rubidium, cesium, that's all. Even sodium doesn't form superoxide. Now, what is the name of BaO2? Why? Barium belongs to? Barium belongs to? Second group. With fixed oxygen of plus 2. Minus 2. Each oxygen gets minus 1. Therefore, this is a peroxide. This is a peroxide. Now, what about PVO2? Is it lead dioxide or lead peroxide? Hmm? Peroxide? Oxide. Why? Give minus 2 to oxygen and lead has no difficulty in taking plus 4. Some of you are in a dilemma. Ah. Hmm. Abhika Mayank. Huh? So what is inert pair effect? He says inert pair effect hai na, PVO2 less stable hai na. Ho re do. Less stable hai, lekin ho ga na. Sohan jo hai? The 2010, that was <laughs> quite a paper. My first 10 pages of my notebook covers almost 60% of the questions. First 10 pages, like I am teaching today. 2010. How many of the following have only one non-zero oxidation states? What do you mean by non-zero? Other than zero, sirf ek hi oxidation state hona hai. Zero ko sabko hoga na? Zero ki nne ki zero te ki zero oxidation state sabko hoga elements ke. Only one non-zero is fixed. Directly asking from the list. Sulfur, Chromium, Titanium, Manganese, Thallium, uh, maybe Nitrogen, Phosphorus, uh, Fluorine, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, somewhere along the line, Sodium as the other. How many of the following are fixed? Which two? Sorry, sodium and? Two is the answer. The 2010 All India first ranker Jitendra Reddy. He also wrote two. I was among a, a group of teachers who were inquiring whether he has he will get the score he claims because we were eager to know whether he gets the first rank or not. So uh, we asked him. What was your answer? He said two. I just want to, wanted to probe which two. He will be shocked at his answer. Chlorine and thallium. Chlorine and? Answer is right logic. That's why he is pursuing engineering physics in Germany right now. Chlorine, thallium. I asked him, what about sodium? Sodium bhi hai na? Answer, teen ho na tha. Nay sir, sodium ko minus one bhi hai na. Plus one, minus one. Mayne puja minus one kaha se nikla. I know. 
You know what would be his answer? Sir, Cretend 222 me. Sodium minus 1. Hai na. What are cryptands? Anyone have you heard about them? Heard. heard. From whom? Vahi Sudarshan Guha rewritens J.D. Lee. Sudarshan Guha is Sankalp Guha. Who is it? वो किधर बाहर फेंक दे या तो कोई दुश्मन को तुम्हारा दुश्मन खास दुश्मन है तो गिफ्ट दे दे उसको How many of you have that? Only two. हैं? है कोई? ठीक है. What are cryptids? Cryptids are crown eaters. And uh, they are formed at minus 40 degrees centigrade. Dunia ki bahar. Crown ethers. What are crown ethers? Carbon, oxygen, alternatively some carbon like that. And one sodium ion is trapped in the crown ether. To balance the charge, one of the sodium becomes minus at this temperature. So he mentioned that crown ethers. What doesn't exist at room temperature doesn't exist at all. But exists only in your dreams. Sapna me dekha sir, ma sodium ko minus 3 bhi dekha. Discharge tube me uranium, uranium 92 plus mile ka manum. You supply so much of potential, 92 electrons. Even the nucleus will break sooner rather than later. Yes or no? Provided the right amount of energy. It's only a question of how much energy you supply. So, so any minus, what doesn't exist, repeat, what doesn't exist at a normal conditions doesn't exist at all. There was a horrible question. West Bengal JE. Benzene plus methane, just 1000 degrees and 500 atmosphere pressure. What is the product? How many of you heard this question? Arihan. Thousand. Thousand degrees mein kya hota hai? Kuch bhi ho jata hai. Everything will happen. Anything can happen. The answer, to my surprise, was Tolly. Plus H2. Break the bond and compress them. Break and make. So, above 150 degrees centigrade in organic, greater than 150 organic chemistry khatam, greater than 250 in organic chemistry khatam. H3PO3 and heating, what will you get? God knows. Fortunately, NCRT has given a very great statement. What is that? Oxy acids of phosphorus in intermediate oxidation state, <coughs> oxy acids of phosphorus, <coughs> minus 3 plus 5, ah, they go, they give the maximum and minimum. So, H3PO3 on heating, this is a statement from NCRT. You get PH3 the minimum and H3PO4 the maximum. Otherwise, I, I will never know the answer. Especially reactions which involve high amount of heat. So, normal heating, normal conditions, what happens? Uh, I'm sorry, what I meant to tell you. In a natural way, what happens in a natural way, we can predict. Unnatural, how can I predict? I usually wake up at uh, 7 o'clock in the morning. <coughs> but today is not a usual day. I have, I travelled the whole night. What time I woke up? Who knows? Usually 7. This is an unusual day. So, <coughs> his answer was, <coughs> doesn't include sodium. I further pursued. Chlorine, thallium. ठीक है भाई सोडियम नहीं लिखा तो चलेगा थैलियम क्यों क्यों पकड़ा इन्होंने बोला 
sorry, not to pay respect to him. Are we able to win it? Pay respect means not inability. It's not inability. <coughs> I prefer three idlis to five. Prefer in the sense, I can eat five idlis. But I prefer to eat just three. I don't want to take too much of food. Inert pay effect is not inability. It's a preference. Thallium prefers plus one to plus three. Prefers. It can definitely form plus three. Like lead can form plus four. Hmm. His answer <laughs> shook everyone by surprise. Sir, no message is kaise hoga. Now, choice may sirf ye kaise ho gaya, soch ka mein do likha. Abhi, abhi ab bas karo. Bas mein nikal gaya udas. The same year, how many of the following are diprotic acids? What do you mean by diprotic? Sorry? Which give two protons. Which can give two protons. The first and last time question about Chromic acid was asked by a surprise. Chromic acid is also among the list. H3PO3, H3PO2, H3BO3, H2SO4, like that. These three are among exceptions. What about boric acid? <coughs> Sorry? non protic Yeah. It is a weak, it is a weak, monobasic, sorry, Bronsted acid. Bronsted ka matlab proton dene wala. Proton nahi dete bhai ye. Weak, monobasic, Louis acid. It is not, it is not a, not a proton donating, it is not a proton donating Bronsted acid. You have two, two sentences here. Definition of Bronsted is also there. What is a Bronsted acid? Which donates a proton, but it does not. It is not a proton donating Bronsted acid, but an electron pair accepting Electron pair accepting Louis acid. It's not a bronsted acid. It's a Louis acid. So, H3PO4 2 to high. H3PO3 is a diprotic acid. 1 phosphorus 2 OH. 1 hydrogen directly bonded. So, 2 H A diprotic. H3PO2, एक ही वो है चे, पांच बांड बनाना है ना, Phosphorus always wants to form, Phosphorus wants to form, five bonds with four atoms, why five bonds, why five bonds, to keep all electrons busy, and why with four atoms, Tetrahedral geometry ke liye, tetrahedral ke liye. Baad mein bata honga mein, uh, reactivity karke ek topic aayega, us mein bata honga. Now, where are we? So, hmm. Fixed oxidation states, what is inert pair effect? Any question on thallium, lead, bismuth, polonium? Think in terms of, think in terms of, any question, think in terms of, inert pair effect. What is that? Preferring, preferring, preferring lower oxidation states, lower, and Fewer number of bonds. <coughs> Why? Bismuth doesn't prefer five bonds. Why? Bismuth doesn't form BiCl5. Why? 
cost price less than selling price. It has a pair of electrons which is reluctant to get excited. 6s2, 6px1, 6py1, 6pz1. To excite this pair, you require certain amount of energy. And when bond is formed, energy is released. That's not compensated. That's not good enough. So, you require energy to excite the pair of electrons. And whenever a bond is formed, energy is released. Cost involved is more and uh, in return is less. Now, preferring. So, for thallium, what are the oxidation states offered? Plus 1, plus 3. What does it prefer? Plus Lead plus 2, plus 4. Plus 3, plus 5. Polonium plus 2, plus 4, plus 6. It prefers 2 and 4. So, PbO2 is a good oxidizing agent. Why? Sorry? Yeah. PbO2 is a good oxidizing agent because it is in plus 4 state. It wants to become PbO. PbO wants to go down a little, plus 2, by taking electrons. And define a reducing agent. Don't forget this definition. Reducing agent. Only one word. One who gives electrons. That's all. Oxidizing agent. Opposites are opposite. I don't know. Reducing agent is one who gives, one who gives electrons and uh, oxidizing agent is the opposite. One who gives electrons, electron or electrons. Don't tell me electron pairs, one who gives electron pairs is called a pair of electrons, it is a Louis acid, Louis base. One who gives a pair of electrons is a Louis base, base according to Louis. Don't confuse that and this. B2A, B2A, B stands for base, A for acid, B2A, B donates a pair of electrons to A, this is Lewis theory in short, Lewis theory. Can you open the bottle? Base donates a pair of electrons to acid. Now, H four P two. O7, does it have a peroxy bond? Does it have a peroxy bond? How do you know? Structure? Peroxy high karke pata chala to my structure draw kar sakta hon. Structure se peroxy kabhi nahi. Minus 14, I have given a procedure, no? Plus 4, plus 10, each oxygen gets plus 5. And it's okay, it's not impossible, it's very much possible. This is very much possible for phosphorus, therefore it's not a peroxide. Not a peroxide. The tick mark indicates it's possible and this is not a peroxide. No peroxy bond. H2S2O7 minus 14 plus 2, plus 12, plus 6, once again no, no peroxy bond. HClO4, hmm. 4 oxygen minus 8, plus 1, plus 7, yeah, no peroxy. H3PO5, does it have a peroxy bond? What is its name? Does it have? How do you know? Minus 10, 
प्लस थ्री प्लस सेवन विच इज इम्पॉसिबल देर फोर इसका नाम है पेरोक्सी फॉस्फोरिक एसिड पेरोक्सी फॉस्फोरिक एसिड टाइटेनिक एसिड माइनस एट प्लस टू प्लस सिक्स इज प्लस सिक्स पॉसिबल फॉर टाइटेनियम टाइटेनियम बिलोंग्स टू जस्ट द फोर्थ ग्रुप फोर्थ ग्रुप थ्री बी फोर बी स्कैंडियम टाइटेनियम स्कैंडियम थ्री बी स्कैंडियम टाइटेनियम वेनेडियम क्रोमियम मैंगनीस सो This is a peroxy. This is called per titanic acid. Yellow. What about CrO5? How do you know? Just two peroxy. How do you know? Huh? Structure draw करेंगे इसका. स्ट्रक्चर टू ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट और ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट टू स्ट्रक्चर नाउ माइनस टेन प्लस टेन दिस इज इम्पॉसिबल इम्पॉसिबल फॉर एनी बडी फॉर दैट मैटर वट इज हाइएस्ट पॉसिबल ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट प्लस एट इन रुथीनियम टेट्रोक्साइड ऑस्मियम टेट्रोक्साइड एंड ऑफकोर्स जेनॉन टेट्रोक्साइड ऑल ऑफ दम आर इन प्लस एट only 3 there is no other example cro5 plus 10 is impossible maximum plus 6 so number of peroxy bonds number of peroxy bonds is equal to impossible minus maximum by 2 इम्पॉसिबल कितना मिला दस टेन माइनस सिक्स बाई टू सो हाउ टू ड्रॉ द स्ट्रक्चर वन क्रोमियम फाइव ऑक्सीजन क्रोमियम कैन एट बेस्ट लूज क्रोमियम सिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉन्स मैक्सिमम ऑफ आई कैन गिव यू ओनली प्लस सिक्स बेटा So each of them is given one bond. Sixth one, one more. Now, which oxygen is given two bonds? Today, isko, kal isko, parso isko, aisa. So, what is it? It has got a butterfly structure. So oxidation state to structure. It's not the other way around. ये रास्ता नहीं. Structure से oxidation state नहीं निकाल. Oxidation state से उल्टा structure निकाल. That is one of the purposes of applications of oxidation state. Okay, I have told you how to find peroxy bond. Why to find peroxy bond? Why? Sorry, huh? To draw the structure. Structure draw नहीं किया तो भाड़ में जाए. क्या होता है? हाँ? क्या? 
Yeah. So, why to find peroxy bond? This is more important. Com compound with peroxy bond, peroxy linkage, peroxides, they can give you an oxygen, they can take an oxygen. Look at this list, H2O2, CaOCl2, O3, HClO, NaClO, all peroxy substances, all peroxy. इस लिस्ट को कोई नाइन्थ क्लास का बच्चा देखा तो क्या करेगा? हरे सर ने गलत लिखा है H2 वो तो नहीं लिखना था H2 वो था ना पानी CaOCl2 क्या है CaCl2 मार्बल O2 अरे हर इसी में एक आक्सीजन ज्यादा लिखा है पागल NaCl वो प्रिंट मिस्टेक हुआ था इस किताब में बहुत सारे प्रिंट मिस्टेक से ये कमेंट्स लाइक एन एक्सपर्ट Peroxy H2S में फाइ देखेगा ना अरे सर H3PO5 All peroxy want to become oxy How many of you watch my video? Only two? Three? RSN chemistry on the YouTube you will find everything, I mean, 19 videos are there. RS and chemistry. This particular lecture was of great significance. Reactivity, 45 minute lecture. So, all these are, all these are, can give an oxygen, can give an oxygen, can take an oxygen. How come H2O2 gives an oxygen becomes H2O? Takes an oxygen, again becomes H2O and O2. This oxygen, this extra oxygen and oxygen we have given, O2. So, can give an oxygen, can take an oxygen. So they are oxidizing agents, reducing agents. And uh, they kill bacteria. How come? Bacteria lives where there is no oxygen. Where there is no? Hum oxygen leke jeete hai. Bacteria oxygen leke martha hai. Anaerobic respiration, I don't know what is that, heard of it. So, they are, they remove color, remove color. How? <coughs> By giving this oxygen, <coughs> they remove the oxygen of a substance which is responsible for color again. Vegetable colored matter, the color of fruits, vegetables, leaves, uh, etc. is due to a loosely held oxygen which is called maybe chromophore, chromophore oxochrome. So that oxygen is removed by this oxygen. So they are bleaching agents, bleaching, antibacterial, water purifier. Ever heard of ozonized drinking water? Ozonized and ozonized paper. Paper actually is bleached by using bleaching powder, but that is not eco friendly. Therefore, nowadays they use ozone, ozone treated. Back of your notebook, you will find ozone treated, eco friendly, no chlorine used. Anna? Water purifier, antibacterial. So 
so there are so many properties that is why this happens to be important why to find peroxy bond substance containing a peroxy will act as an oxidizing agent look here ch2 double bond ch2 plus h2so5 what will happen who is this fellow peroxy sulfuric acid parmono sulfuric acid with one oxygen more so kya karega oxygen de dega ya oxygen idhar aayega and these two carbons catch the oxygen sorry with both the hands ch2 ch2 these are eager to this molecule is eager to get rid of the pi bond this molecule is eager to get rid of the pi bond and one an oxygen comes prelish chew reaction nonsense name not necessary oxidizing agents so what are the timings for today 10 to 1 2 to 5 why is it uh, 10 o'clock why not at 9 some of you come from far up distances maybe 10 to 1 right so can you find out whether there is a peroxy linkage or not Na2SO3 plus H2O2. What will be the product? What are the products? H2O2 wants to become H2O losing in oxygen. Na2SO3 becomes why? Why has this change taken place? Huh? Sulfite wants to become sulfate. Why? Sorry. Yes. Donate the electron. Sulfur. Ah, yeah, you're right. Sulfite wants to get rid of the lone pair. Sulfite has a lone pair, so sulfite eight wants to become eight. Eight so want to become eight. Eight always want to become eight. Eight eight with less oxygen. Eight less oxygen wants to become eight. so second procedure is successfully over what is the covalency of phosphorus covalency hmm is it always 5 don't write don't write anything yet covalency of phosphorus it depends ph3 it is 3 PCl3 again it's 3 PCl5 it is 5 what is the maximum covalency 5 phosphorus cannot form more than 5 bonds can't what about PCl6 minus how is it formed how is it formed phosphorus empty d orbital empty orbital One phosphorus, six chlor is one of them is a minus. That minus donates, and this phosphorus thankfully accepts. Okay, we will discuss covalency after the break. A break of fifteen minutes. Chalega?
Switch the camera off.